the particles in the solid are very close together and they're fixed in position. This solid is a crystalline solid. You can see that they repeat in a regular pattern. If the particles in a solid aren't arranged in a pattern, it's called an amorphous solid. Uh, solids have a definite shape and a definite volume. Ice is usually a crystalline solid. It is possible to have amorphous ice, but most of the ice on Earth is cr crystalline. If you've been watching the temperature down in the lower corner there, that's the temperature of the ice. And you'll notice it started out very close to zero degrees Celsius, just above it. It's been going back and forth. And we put the ice on a hot plate to add some thermal energy or heat energy. As we heat the ice, that's going to cause the particles in that solid to vibrate faster and faster and faster. And eventually, they'll break free of their fixed positions and change into a liquid. Liquids are similar to solids in that they have a definite volume, but they don't have a definite shape. And the reason they don't have a definite shape is the particles aren't in a fixed position. They can roll past each other or flow past each other. However, the particles are very close together, so it's difficult to compress a liquid just like compressing a solid. If you change the container a liquid's in, it becomes a different shape. It fills the container. Now the beaker is filled with all liquid water, and as the temperature gets closer and closer to 100 degrees Celsius, the thermal energy being added to that liquid water is going to cause the particles to move faster and faster and faster, and eventually when they start colliding and moving faster, they will turn into gas or water vapor. Right about now you can see some of that water vapor on the side of the beaker. A gas is different from a solid and a liquid because it doesn't have a definite shape and it doesn't have a definite volume. The particles can move about freely, they collide frequently, and they fill whatever container they're in. So if the container gets bigger, they expand, and if the container gets smaller, they can compress. As we get closer and closer to 100 degrees Celsius, we're reaching the boiling point. And so much thermal energy has been added to the liquid water that the particles are moving, building up speed, and they're moving independently. So you're, they're forming a gas below the surface, and those bubbles are rising up to the surface. And you can see water vapor leaving the beaker. And you can also see some water condensing as it rises up, it cools back down and forms back into liquid droplets on the side of the beaker. What you've just been watching is the same thing you did in class during your phase change lab. So we started at zero, and the temperature slowly increased as we heated the ice. There was a little bit of water in there to begin with. And it slowly increased until about right here at one minute. And if you go back and watch, you'll notice that about a minute into it, uh, the solid ice starts to quickly disappear. And that's when the temperature increases quickly. 
and we have liquid and liquid and liquid until we get up above 90 and we hit this area here and then it tapers off and that's when you see gas or water vapor leaving the beaker. So this point down here, this is called the melting point, and right up here, this is the boiling point. The melting point is the point where the particles in a solid uh, vibrate fast enough because of the heat energy that they break free of their fixed positions, and then they turn into a liquid so they can slide past each other. As heat energy is added, uh, they vibrate faster and faster and faster, and eventually they turn into a gas. And at that point, they're bouncing off of each other, and since there's no top on the container, their volume starts increasing, and they can leave the container. So in review, solids have a definite shape and a definite volume, and that's because their particles are in a fixed position. They can vibrate, but they're fixed, and they don't move a whole lot. Liquids have a definite volume, but don't have a definite shape. They're the shape of whatever container they're in. So if the container gets bigger, they change shape to that. Gases don't have a definite volume or a definite shape. The particles are moving much more than in a liquid or in a gas, and they can move independently.